<sighs> you know what? I think after this level, my aneurysms are gonna kick in. <laughs> I'm... I'm gonna whoop my own ass after this fucking level. Alright everyone, welcome back, this is Yoko1993 game, and I am taking on tubular. That's right, Yoko93 takes on the tubular level. And I'm not doing it with the pee balloon, so don't let's start this shit. You know what? Don't you dare don't you dare run into Shaw's and tell the manager that I've been buying up all the Sour Patch kids and eating them so the other kids won't have them and Everyone's all disappointed, and, you know, there, there's times when you gotta- No! There's times when you gotta think about how an ass works, you know? Like, my ass has- Fuck! <coughs> Damn, man, I almost made it there, hell yeah. I gotta get another feather, so... You know, you have to wait for me, alright? All right. <laughs> Damn, man. All right, so this there's this video I saw where this fucking guy's like, "All right, everyone, well, I'm going to beat this level without the people in." But he got a blue Yoshi, right? So what he doesn't know is that what does the blue what does the people do? Oh, you 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 don't want to know, right? You you want to know? I uh, oh, you do want Okay, sorry. Fuck. All right, I'm going to have to go to the secret level. All right, so the thing is that that guy he says, "Oh, I'm gonna get over there without um a P balloon, right?" So the P balloon makes you float, right? I'm correct. I'm I'm sure. I'm sure about that. The P balloon makes you fly. Now the blue Yoshi, when you eat a turtle, and it's so easy to do that in that level. It also makes you fly. Now, what was the difference that he was trying to accomplish? You know, getting over there without the pea balloon? Isn't the blue Yoshi, when he when he eats a turtle, isn't that like, you know, some sort of way of having the pea balloon, you know? It just... It doesn't make any sense to me, you know? It, just, it, it, it grabs my mind, and it, it, and it gets a big black dick, and it fucks the shit out of it. And that, it, it's not fair. It's not fair. You know, why, why didn't, why didn't my brother get to eat all the grapes out the bag that I didn't? You know, that metaf metaphorical days that in my ways, and that's the way it stays. You know, because I'm, I'm tired of it. I'm sitting sideways, boys in the days. Oh fuck, fuck, fuck! All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna have to jump on one of his footballs. Ready? Ready? Fuck, fuck. Fuck! Alright, 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 we're good. We good. We good. Fuck. Oh. No. I said no. Fuck. Fuck! I don't think jump. How can I do that? No. I want to go all the way back here. This fucking Jackie Lantern. No! Save the pee. Save the pee. Ah. <laughs> uh. Well, speaking of that, I- oh, no, 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 I wasn't supposed to start this shit. Fuck. I refuse to get a blue Yoshi. I know there's a way to get over there somehow. I think I did it before on my Game Boy Advance. I had this game before, and it- It was the days when- It, it was those kind of days when my dad would get pissed if- If, like, he boiled water, and you, like, stared at it with him. And then, like, I'm like, hey, dad, what are you cooking? He's like, I'm the only one who cooks it. And you have to, like, run out the fucking kitchen. <laughs> yeah, my dad, my dad cooked food. You know, he, he was the, he was the Walter White of food. You know, it, everything he did, it was just, you know, a, a whole thing. Like, he would just write down, like, X over Y7 or some shit like that and just get the, and all he was doing was making pasta. It's like, well, I can't have one fucking meatball out the pan. Is it? Is that what it is? You can every morning you wake up, you can have your fucking corn puffs out the fucking pan, but you can't have a meatball until it's ready. You know. I mean, he saved my life by not letting me eat that raw meatball, though. Let's just get. Let's just be real about this. You know. I don't think it's really fair to put put someone in a situation, make them look like an asshole, and they're not really an asshole. You know, they're just trying to help. And I mean, if you had eyes. 
a great metaphor, a great another metaphor. If you had eyes, you could see that shit from a mile away, you know? There is no way. Fuck. Hmm. Okay, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Um. I know there's a way to make it over there. It comes to a point where when I get hit by that football on the first time, right? I'm gonna have to find a way to have to get my to save my feather until that time because I think that's the only way I can make it over there. Didn't I make it that far before? Hell yeah, I did. You don't know. Shut up. You don't know what you're talking about, Josh. All you do is fucking talk, and it's it's just no wonder why when you made brownies that day it didn't turn out what how you wanted it, you know, because you didn't cook it all the way along. And you know, there, there's some days when. You have to think about yourself more than others. You go on a star road is the only way I can think of it, you know? I mean, do I have to buy my brother a new car? I don't have to fucking do that shit. But will I if I had a million dollars? I don't know. He didn't even ask me. So, you know, again, with these weird questions, I don't get you people. <laughs> you people need to stop asking me. Alright. Um, I'm pretty sure that... When I'm 78. Fuck! Is there, is there a way I can do this shit without pissing off? Without getting pissed off? Because... Fucking... Bitch... Mother... <laughs> really? Really? Is it, are, we, are we gonna do this? Game over. That's the first time I've ever fucking game over on this game. That's bullshit. No, I don't even want him. Why should... Maybe... Okay, you know what? Instead of a blue Yoshi, maybe I could just do a green Yoshi, you know what I mean? Because he doesn't fly. Actually, you know what? I kind of want a red Yoshi. I want to have to get rid of him. Yeah, I know. I'm an asshole. Sue me. It's fucking... Weird. It's great. There's times when I'm gonna have to, um, do this sometimes. You know, I, I can't wait till the day of graduation where, you know, everybody, oh, fuck, fuck. I can't wait till the day of graduation when I'm like 35 and I'm at college and I'm like trying to fit in with all the other college kids and he's like, yo, Gramps, you want a beer? And I'm like, hell yeah. And then, Turn that fucking shit up, and then none of the kids know, like, Big Pun or something like that. So they're playing, like, some, like, some other shit I don't really know about. That, you know, that's my biggest fear about getting old, is that, like... I'm so used to being young, is that, like... it's It came to the point where I don't even fit in anymore. Like, with all this... What do you... The kids call it lame. <laughs> kids call it that lame-ass shit, yo. It came to the point where my life has been changing, and it's been doing it drastically, you know? I haven't really gotten a break from any one of these time crisis periods that I've been getting into, you know? And, you know, I... Fuck! I lost him, too! Fucking... Fuck. Ah. <sighs> This is my last episode, too. I gotta beat the two wheel. I'm beating this level. I don't care what anybody says. I'm beating this fucking level. And you can all just kiss the fattest part of my ass if you don't like it. <laughs> Get it? Because, you know, I'm, I'm... I'm not really fat, but, like, everyone's ass cheeks has, like, a little fat in them, so it's, like, the fattest part. You know, I'm not a doctor, so I can't really tell you, like, the fatty glands that's going on in, in the near the rectum part of my body. <laughs> Someone give me a drum roll, please, for this shit. You know, I. I mean, I respect midgets. I respect them. They they live they live life being really short. You know. I mean, if one of them threw a, a Sprite bottle at my house and, you know, I never found out who did it. And if I found out it was a, it, I would, I'd be coming out, right? I'd be pissed off. I'd be like, who the fuck threw a Sprite bottle at my fucking house? And then, and then someone come and be like, 
Oh, it wasn't. Uh, it was. It was a midget. He he threw a sprite bottle at the house, and I'm like, oh, it's a midget. I I'd, I'd just be laughing about. It. I wouldn't even be pissed anymore. I'd be like, oh, all right, you know, midget threw a sprite bottle at my house. That's a good story to tell, you know. And it, it didn't happen before, just to let you know. No guy four nine named Josh fucking. Oh, oh, oh no 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 no. Oh my God, guys, guys. Oh my god. No! I was right there. Fuck. There was so much time. That's a lot of bullshit. I, I'm not doing it the easy way. I'm not fucking doing it the easy way. This is gonna stop right now or else... Or else Ravioli Night is over. That's it. No one's getting raviolis anymore. It's, it's gonna it's gonna come to a point where I'm gonna put my foot down. I'm even dying at this level now. God, I fucking suck. This is the, I got like two minutes left too. All right, so for now on, Zelda is gonna be 20 minutes a piece now because it's getting to the point where I thought about it and I don't really think some people out there really wanna watch my video for like 30 minutes because Listen, you know how long 30 minutes is? It's like a TV show, right? And some people out there, they come home from work and they want to watch it for like a half hour and then do something else with their life. And my videos are kind of selfish by taking up that whole half hour with Zelda. So, you know, 20 minutes is good, you know? And I know a lot of people, they, they like to watch other YouTubers and it makes sense because they need a chance to get watched. I mean, that's why I don't understand, like, how some YouTubers can, like, sit there for, like, an hour and a half doing a video. Because when people are sitting around, they're just like, oh, watch this video. It's really funny. They don't want to sit there for, like, an hour and a half. Like, they're just going to get bored with it, like, three minutes anyway. No one, everyone else's fucking attention span. Even attention span of a fucking ant. Let me, let me just get this straight, you know. And the fact of the matter is, is that your balls come off if you put a rubber band around them for, like, two days, you know. I mean, that's, that's facts of life right there. There's no other way where... Oh my god, really? Really? No. Right, I'm gonna have to wait. I'm gonna have to wait. Come on. Alright, good. So we got that. A rubber band around balls. It's out. You know why it's out? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes. Whoa! Oh my god. No! No! <laughs> it was right there. It was right there. Alright, everyone. Well... I obviously can't do this. That was the farthest I'm gonna go. And Alright, this is my last episode of Super Mario World. Hope you all enjoyed the playthrough and had fun doing it. And this is Yoko1993. Everybody, peace the hell out.